That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I've seen you in my yoga class. Do you go there? No, I don't do yoga. You don't? No. Not at all? We should try. Not the best way to start because she can just say no and brush you off. Hey, excuse me, can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well, <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment, it's direct, it's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or s squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds. Almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yes. That mm -hmm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. What are you doing today? Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes. And that's why when I saw you, and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. OK. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, whatever. but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the the suit on okay. and sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I'll, I will change. I'll okay. Change, yeah. And tell me, what do you do? Because you, you look a bit artistic. <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit. Non-profit? Charity, yeah. Ah, uh, I like making profit, so that's... What no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. I work in IT, but... Okay. No, that's cool. So you're not so focused on money, you like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on uh, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Because yeah. IT can be creative too, so. Sure, yeah. yeah. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always ask, but in this case, you want to make a guess, make an assumption. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. Are you single? Because someone as pretty as you, I, I don't know, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't really be single, could they? Um, no, I am. You are? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I'm so surprised. <laughs> are you? I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and am I single? Yes. Good. You got away with it, kind of. You could have found out the answer to your question of whether she's single or not in a sneakier way, and it would have been better. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm. I actually don't have a lot of free time and work. Well, I work shame. a lot. So when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato. Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like come to this and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Have you ever tried climbing? 
you know, like on these walls. <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that, that sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's, um, it's like when you're, you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and... Yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. kind of dangerous, but fun. No, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and... can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Yeah, I work in IT, but actually I'm also a model scout. Really? Yeah, and I saw you and I thought maybe, you know, hmm. have you ever considered modeling? I do actually model. What, uh, oh, what agency already. are you part of? My agency? Yeah. Um, it's Ace Models. <laughs> That's not even real. It's a new agency. No. You're we just started not long ago. I do, I've got business cards, I can show you. Even if you have all of your lies together, you're going to get found out eventually and it's much better to actually be someone that you would be proud to represent, right? So that you never need to lie. So if you feel the need to lie, do some work on your life until you get to the point where you can be very cool, confident and laid back about who you are. Yeah, I work in IT for this software company, but it's just it's so dry and boring and every day is just repetitive, but you know, pays pretty good salary, so that's why I stick with it. Okay. If possible, you want to keep a nice positive tone, so this kind of response, although it's very common, is not the best. So do you always stop girls in the street? Well, you know, from time to time, quite often actually, in the summer, in the summer when it's nice. Winter, not so much, there's less people, raining, walking, you know, quickly. Sure. The summer is nice and the girls are dressed better, so kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not the best response again, even if it's true, you'd be better with some logical justification as to why that's true. Listen, I do need to go and meet those friends, but yeah. why don't I give you my number and then you can um, call me sometime and message me whatever and we meet. Yeah, sure. Well, there you go. Saved it in there's Richard. <laughs> Good. Cool. Uh, have fun with your friends. Yeah, you too. See ya. Giving a girl your number and not taking hers is very pointless. It leaves the you know, chance that you're never going to see her again totally up to her depending you know how busy her life is and what she's got going on and in most cases girls don't like making the first move so it should be up to you to take the number if you like her and do the right things so that you see her again. Listen I need to meet some friends but why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find a time to meet. Sure that'd be great. You did pretty well, you didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and see the girl again. You got the number, so well done.